What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. I'm an ATM business owner here in Los Angeles. In this video, I'm gonna show you what to look for when buying a used machine. A lot of people are getting into this business and later finding out that this business is not for them. So they start selling their ATMs on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist. And this one, I actually bought at a pawn shop. So right here, even before I bought it, I saw that this piece right here, I'm gonna have to replace. So that's something I take in consideration when buying a used machine. I, I know that I need to buy this kit because it's not in compliance, it's not EMB. Um, so I saw that this ATM is kind of banged up. It's not an issue when you're buying used machines because you can place them in outside placements, inside an enclosure. You can put it in a dark place like a nightclub at a bar in a corner where it's kind of, the lights are kind of dimmed. So if you want to come closer, you can see right here that what year was made. So this, this ATM was made in 2012. It gives you all the information right here is uh, the printer it has a receipt paper. This little black little button, not a lot of people know this, but if you press it, it actually shows you a test print. It shows you that the printer is actually working just to, just to make sure that the printer is working. Right here, it, uh, the, you would typically see the card reader here. Um, it's not here because I know I need to replace it. Right here is the main board. Um, typically it shows that it's an ACU6, three slash five, we can't see that uh, right now. If you go underneath, a very important component when buying a used machine is a keypad. So this one, you can see that it's from June 2012. It's a B1. It doesn't show any stickers from any uh, company showing that it was refurbished. So this is something to take in consideration when buying a used machine that you might have to replace the keypad just because it is from 2012 and it might die soon. In the bottom portion, you want to check out the CDU, the dispenser. So if you open up this tray, I know that it's a TCDU. It's a flip top, so right here we open it. This is where we put our money. We push this back. You put your cash, and then you push it forward. So it looks functional. This is the reject bin. And right here on the side, you can actually see the sticker, the model, the parts here, number the year it was manufactured. It shows that it's all from 2012, so it's actually, it looks like all these parts are from this actual machine, the original. You can close it back up. Right here, I'm gonna enter the password that they gave me, that the seller gave me. And for here, I can see that they gave me the password for the operator, so they didn't give me the master password. The processing company has a master password. They gave them the operator password just to change the build count, change the walk-up screen, wherever it may be. As you can see, we don't have whole setup and transaction setup. Whole setup we need because we actually, I need to program this machine to my settings, to my processor, enter my master keys, and uh, that's an issue. So when buying used machines, typically, you're going to get the operator password, which means that you need to do a full um, software update on the actual machine and reset the keypad. Um, so you can completely have control of this machine. Um, so I'll be doing that later on today um, when I get this ATM set up. So I would say in summary, when you're, look, when you're buying a used machine, I will look at the car reader, the keypad, and the dispenser, because all these parts are interchangeable. I'll be switching out the dispenser, I'll be switching out the keypad, I'll be switching all these parts. And remember, you can always do a full software update to completely wipe out the ATM and also do a, a reset on the keypad. So th these are all things to consider when buying a used machine. Uh, just make sure you're getting a good deal. If you're new to the business, I will stick with new um, because it does come with warranty. But once you get a little bit more expertise in the business, then you can start buying used and start switching out the parts. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.